Well, let's change gears just a little bit. Uh, most of the previous videos had to do with exclusively padlocks, but now I've decided to dig into my Euro cylinder box just a little bit, and we'll start in mid-range, I guess. Uh, this is a Sabre uh, five-pin uh, pin cylinder, as you see. It has a Y keyway. Uh, I'm going to orient this so that the way I'm used to. I know I have several European uh, viewers that like would like to see it oriented this way, but I, I'm just not used to that. So let's just try it this way. Uh, here is the bidding on the key. So we got some decent bidding on it, and it does work. It's a it is a used cylinder, but uh, it's in good shape as you see. So let's. Uh, Let's just pick it first. We're going to try to open it several different ways. And I'm just going to use a nice fat tension wrench in the bottom because I really don't need all the extra room and this just gives me a lot of confidence. It's just not going to fall out. Okay, first I'd just like to pick it. Now there is uh, one security pin as I recall in here. And we might get lucky and find it and then again it might not be until the last one. So. I'm not really looking for the fault set here, and I think I just got it by accident. And there we go, piece of cake. As I said, it's not a great cylinder, uh, but this gives me, since we got it done so quickly, got a couple other ways we can open this lock. Um, I think common sense will tell you that we should be able to rake this fairly easily. So I'll just use a fake Bogota and just stick it in there. Just wiggle just a little bit and bam, that's how quick it is. Uh, there is only one security pin as you saw, so it makes it easier sometimes. But one thing I did notice when I was single pin picking this uh, is that the springs in this are kind of weak. They're kind of mushy. And a technique I'd like to show you, I know I did not invent this, I'm going to call it zipping simply because of the sound that it makes. We're just going to put our pick in, we're going to push it to the top of the key, and we're going to zip, we're going to pull out very quickly, and we're going to let the kinetics uh, of the uh, pick striking the pins basically bump it into place. Very light tension, and this is absolutely critical. If you put too much tension, one of the pins will bind and none of the other ones can bump, can uh, rise above the shear line. So very light tension and we'll just zip it. If it doesn't work, hold your tension and then try it a couple more times because sometimes, as you see, the first one sets most of the pins where the second or even the third try gets the rest of them. There we go. So that one took three tries. So just one more trick to put into your bag there. When you find a lock uh, that has, even with one or two security pins, if it feels like it's really mushy when you single pin pick it, which would indicate that the pins are pretty old, as they are in this used lock, they've lost some of their tension, you might be able to use that zipping technique to get in very quickly, as you saw. Anyway, thanks for your time, and everybody be safe and stay legal.